Hey, yo, I am the star in any room that I stand in. I am the standout. You just my stand in. These bitches copy my homework. That's what they hand in. That's why I'm private like the airports I land in. Life is a beach house. Don't let the sand in. I ball in any arena. Go let the fans in. I should go cop in New Jersey. That's worth the Camden. These bitches time tick tocking. Better stick to dance. Welcome back to my channel, it's your girl Nina Mimoyo and I'm back at it again giving you guys all the latest content on all things fashion, beauty advice, lifestyle and of course the vlogs honey, my life, your entertainment. If you're new to my channel, a huge welcome to you, thank you so much for joining me today. Please don't leave here without hitting that subscribe button and of course turning on that notification bell so you are the first person to receive a notification when I upload a new video. And of course my lovies and my lovers and my day ones, thank you so much for tuning in, I love you guys so so much. All you guys have to do is give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below what you guys think of this video. Now as you guys can see by today's title of the video, I am going to be doing an installation and wig review on some hair that I received from Bling Hair. So Bling Hair is basically a wig brand, online wig store that basically sells wigs of different types, different densities, different colors, different lens shell, different everything. They've got all types of wigs that you can think of and today they did send me a unit that I'm excited to be trying out for the first time. So they sent me a highlighted wig. Um, which is when one of my very first highlights wigs that I'm actually doing on this channel um, So I'm very excited. It's actually probably like my favorite wig out of all the wigs I've received So I'm very very excited to be trying this one out. But yes, they sent me this highlighted wig I will give you guys all the details about this particular wig at the end of this video after I'm done with installing and everything Just so that the video is not too long and there isn't too much squawking and all that. So yeah, so I'm excited to be un, you know, unboxing and installing this particular wig. Um, so I will show you guys the wig last. I want to show you guys everything else that they sent me. So they first started off by sending me this wig cap. So this is a brown wig cap. Um, obviously they sent me two pieces. They come in two pieces. So I'm happy about that. I always prefer a brown wig cap because it's easier to manipulate the wig cap so that it looks like your skin tone. So, and it looks more like your scalp instead of black. I don't think there's anything wrong with black, but I, I prefer brown. They also sent me these pins. So these pins are what you use to basically um, hold your wig um, when you're trying to pluck it. So I did not pluck this particular wig because it is already pre-plucked. So I didn't have to, but it is very, very useful and it comes in really handy to have those pins. They also sent me these, um, these edge control um, brushes so if you're trying to lay your edges I don't know why I call them edge control they're edge brushes <laughs> so they send me these edge brushes um, so on the one side it is more of like a fluff and then the other side it's more of like a rat tail comb um, with very thin bristles at the end so yeah they sent me that and then they also sent me these two hair clips which is also very useful when you're installing your um, your wigs because it obviously holds the wig back while you're trying to do everything because I don't like it when my wigs are coming to the front and I'm trying to sort out the lace and it's very frustrating so those clips came in extremely handy and then the last thing that they sent me were the hairpins so they sent me these hairpins um, which are also very useful 
Um, most people use them to clip their hair like their wig in but with this particular wig you don't really need to because it's got wig combs so you can clip the wig combs in and then they basically sent me the bag which is where I will be keeping this particular wig and basically you know it's got its drawstrings so yes now we're gonna get into the wig baby okay so this is what the wig looks like it came in this packet so I'm just gonna take it out honey so it basically looks like this as you guys can see um, it does come with a hairnet so I'm just gonna remove this hairnet and then it does come as well with some I don't know if it's called styrofoam no it's not called styrofoam it's just this plastic um, foam stuff that helps keep the wig in shape and this is basically the wig oh my word this wig is everything you guys like i don't know if you guys saw on my instagram if you're not following me on instagram i don't know what you're doing at this point but you should go and check out my instagram um yeah i tried this wig on i posted like a little you know snippet you know just trying to try it out and it looks so good on me and i hadn't even stuck it down so i'm excited to like put it on and melt it onto my skin i'm just excited so it is obviously in a teapot so that's basically what it looks like and this is the construction of this particular wig so this is what the lace looks like it is a 13 by 4 um wig so it is obviously all the way around and it is four inches back and as you guys can see the parting space is only this much so it is four inches back and then obviously it's got its three combs so the two combs on the side the one here and the other side and then of course um the one at the back and obviously this lace that you have to cut off here and then it's got adjustable straps which is these straps that you basically can adjust it looks like i've already adjusted mine so but this is the adjustable straps so this is what the wig looks like it is a body wave wig so you guys can obviously see by the curl pattern it is very nice and wavy and then obviously the highlights which is very very pretty to me like i think this, this wig is this wig is a winner okay this wig has my heart i will forever love this wig i think this is one wig i'm gonna i'm going to wear like no other you guys will not see me i think i just generally like colored wigs so i just want to show you guys that this wig has already been plucked um it already looks like really good hairline like it gives a very good hairline so that's basically chill my nails look a bit tacky right now please don't mind that but yeah this is basically what it looks like so it is pre-plucked as you guys can see it does give scalp um, and that's just on the lace also inside by the part you can also see that it is plucked already then like I mentioned I don't know if I actually mentioned this but I think this wig comes in this looks like a 16 inch wig um, when I checked on the website um, it looked like they sent me a 14 inch but i think it's a 16 there's no way it's a 14 inch because this is like really nice and long but it's obviously 14 inches it could even be 18 because it is pretty long like it really really is long but um i think i'm really gonna stick to 16 because it does look like a 16 inch wig i think it becomes an 18 inch wig when you straighten it which it is um you know heat resistant so you can straighten it and yeah but i would keep it in its in its curls because it looks really cute like i like the curls i really like how it looks the curls are just everything so and you guys can see as i stroke the hair and as i run my fingers through it that it really really just like easily you know glides through the hair because obviously this is really good quality hair i mean this is 100 percent virgin hair so you know what it is you know what it is this hair looks really really good so we're gonna get into putting this wig on i'm so excited to try this wig out you guys like you have no idea all right guys so i'm gonna start by putting some gel on my edges and just laying them back so that they don't show up underneath the wig and then now i'm obviously going to be putting on the wig cap and just cutting holes through so that my ears can come through now i'm going to be using some of my got to be glued 
a free spray just to spray that along the edge of my hairline this is basically what you do when you're trying to stick your wig cap down and then obviously you use your blow dryer just so that you can dry that area down now I'm going to cut off the front part of my wig cap that isn't glued down so I usually like to cut it down the middle and then down to the sides. I think it's the most easiest way for me. You guys can do it the best way that you guys know how but yeah I'm just going to be cutting that area off and then also cutting off the part that is surrounding my ears so that it is you know going to lay flat on my head. And I'm also going to be cutting off any extra pieces of the wig cap that are still left so that the front area of my wig cap is going to be laid really, really flat and easily blended. Now I'm obviously going in with my foundation. So this is going to help my wig cap look more natural and sort of just create that bald head effect. And um, my foundation that I'm using is the Maybelline Fit Me foundation. I'm not too sure what the shade is, but I use the shade that is closest to my skin tone. Basically using the shade that is similar to my forehead because we all know our foreheads are darker than the rest of our faces. So we have to use the shade that is closest to your forehead so that it can blend really well. So now I'm applying the wig and this is basically what it looks like. It's looking good, chill. I'm looking snatched already and we haven't even glued the wig down. I've already put some foundation on the lace of the wig just so that when I start to glue it down, it's going to obviously melt onto my skin. At the moment, I'm just wiping off the area of my forehead just so that I can remove any excess oil that I may have on my skin. This will help to glue my wig down a lot better that when I apply the glue, it'll stick down to my skin perfectly. And as you guys can see, I'm just applying one layer of my got to be glued um, gel onto my skin and I'm basically applying it along the line of my forehead and then I'm going to go in with my blow dryer just to blow dry it down until it dries clear. I like to keep the blow dryer on cool while I blow dry the glue so that it dries clear simply because you wouldn't want to necessarily burn your skin while you're blow drying this area because you're not necessarily blow drying your hair, you're blow drying your face. So you wouldn't want to burn yourself with any hot air. Um, so I would suggest that you put your blow dryer on cool, it still achieves the same thing. Um, right now I'm just applying the second coat of the glue onto my skin so that I can have that extra hold. Um, guys, I was literally going on, I was literally singing because the music in the background was slapping. So if you guys see me making faces, that's what I was doing. I was really just singing and vibing because you know what it is. But that's basically what I'm doing at the moment. So this is the part where we put the wig down onto the glue and I'm obviously going to go in with my rat tail comb just to help me lay the front edge of my wig and basically comb it onto the glue. This helps a lot with just laying the wig. I think this method of sticking your wig down is a really smart way and a really really easy way to go about it. I am trying it out for the first time and I can safely say that it's the best way to stick your wigs down. Um, so yeah, now I'm gonna go in with my got to be freeze spray again And I'm just basically spraying it along the edge of my hairline because this basically helps give that extra hold as well um, And I also think it helps give like that swoop up effect um, In the front part of your wig I've seen how it works and I think it works really really well because I want my hair to look like it's coming out of my scalp so if it gives that swoop up effect in the front then it kind of just looks like it's really really coming out of your scalp so yeah now I'm gonna blow dry that area um, the free spray dries really really well I'm also blow drying it on cool so it will dry pretty quickly um, so that's basically what I'm doing at the moment and yeah So now I'm going to grab my elastic band. Child, this elastic band kept snapping off my forehead. I don't know why. I think my forehead's a little too big, but that's a story for another day. So I'm just going to put this band onto my hairline and then we're going to get into styling this wig, child.
so as you guys saw earlier this wig does have a body wave effect so i wanted to redefine the curls just so that it looks better you know and gives that character the body wave character so i do not have a hot comb at the moment i recently just ordered one and it's on the way don't you worry in my next videos i will have a hot comb but at the moment i'm using my blow dryer just to flatten the top area of my hair because i don't really like it to have that little bumpy effect you know it mustn't look like it's flying off my head it should be flat because that looks more natural so that's what i'm doing with my blow dryer so obviously this is a method that you can use if you do not have a hot comb just just like me you basically just use your blow dryer to flatten the top area so I've separated my hair into two halves and I've brought the one half that I'll be working on into the front of my shoulders um, and then I'm gonna be going in with my hair straightener so I do not have a curling iron as well um, we are gonna work on that but I'm using my hair straightener at the moment to curl my hair and just to redefine the curls of this particular hair um, just to give that body wave effect and the way that I am curling this hair is obviously as you guys can see by basically twisting the curling iron um, just to give the curl effect instead of obviously straightening the hair it is a bit of a tedious process because you're obviously using a hair straightener you're not using a curling iron which obviously means that the process will probably be a little bit harder but it managed to do the job so I'm just happy about that but in the future I will definitely invest in a curling iron so that I can make sure that this wig can be a body wave wig to its full potential child because that's what it needs um so I'm just hoping that I can create that in the future with this particular hair but the hair straightener wasn't doing a bad job as you guys can see it really did help create the curls they look very nice and bouncy which is what I wanted and I'm happy with that so I did the other side off camera and this is basically what the curls look like so there was just a few um, strands of hair left to curl and I basically already showed you guys how I'm going about doing that so I'm just gonna let you guys watch the curling you know part of this video and just so that you can also learn how to curl your wigs with a hair straightener because obviously sometimes we don't all have curling irons chilling in the house somewhere so you guys can, can just watch that and yeah So now I'm just removing the band from my hairline and as you guys can see this hairline is laid child okay this lace is laid so I'm just using a bit of my foundation again just to go over um, the lace again because there were some white cast streaks um, on the hair simply because of the glue it happens so I just wanted to make sure that I blend the areas that are white and yeah now I'm just going to be cutting the lace off so this is probably the most nerve-wracking part of it because I'm one person who is like a super perfectionist and I'm afraid of just like making a mistake so this part of cutting the ear part of the lace is just so nerve-wracking I fear cutting off too much hair or cutting too little lace off but if you just take your time with it you'll definitely you know achieve what you're trying to achieve so I did it on both sides obviously and um, I was really relieved that I was actually doing it properly but you should definitely just take your time with it and not rush it in the video it looks rushed but you guys can see I'm happy like I was so happy that I literally cut it off properly because it is very very stressful but if you do it a few times then you will eventually get it now I'm just cutting off the front part of my lace. So I usually take my time with this as well. And I'm cutting in a zigzag motion. This is something that you should do to make your lace look more natural because if it's like sort of like a straight line, it kind of just looks so evident that it's a wig um, unless you blend it really well. But ultimately, I just cut it in a zigzag motion. It's up to you how you want to do it. And yeah, I usually like to start off by cutting off a little bit of the lace. And if I feel like I need to cut off more, then I will go in with my scissors and just cut off a little bit more lace. Um, you can also use your eye eyebrow razor to cut off a bit of the lace. But I prefer to use scissors because I feel like I can control them a little bit more. So yeah, but it's up to you how you want to do it. And yeah, basically just try and get your lace to be as close 
close to your hairline as possible but also not too close don't cut off your hair on your hairline because that's the part that was plucked off and that's the part that's giving scalp and hairline so you just want to make sure that you cut it as much as possible that looks natural and um, I really felt like one side of my hair was like cut off a lot better than the other side it definitely happens like that sometimes so I'm just going in with my scissors again just to make sure that they're evenly cut on both sides as you guys can see it already looks really really nice and laid I'm gonna go in obviously with my foundation again just to help blend it a little bit more but I'm excited with how it looks chill it looks really really good So now I'm going in with a bit of alcohol again just to wipe off any excess glue on the front of my lace and then just to also help blend my lace a little bit more. And just like I mentioned earlier, I'm going in with my foundation just to blend the edges of my lace again, um, just to help my lace blend into my skin a little bit more. Um, you honestly need to make sure that your foundation is your best friend and that it's next to you at all times because this is the only thing that's really going to help you blend your lace as much as possible. Um, some people use powder, other people use other types of, um, you know, blending techniques but I use my foundation and I think it works best for me I also would advise that you use a foundation brush that you're not going to use again because you're obviously working with lace you're working with an area that has glue so it could damage your brushes so I would advise that you use brushes that you're not going to use again or just keep a specific brush specifically for your installs So when I removed the clips, I obviously noticed that um, my curls were not as defined as they were in the beginning. So I'm just going to go in with my hair straightener again, just to redefine the curls. I'm also just using my spray just so that I can help my hair sort of keep the curls after I've um, curled them for the second time. It also just helps create that silkiness of the hair and also just to lay my flyaways. So this spray is really, really helpful. If you guys have access to it, you should definitely get it. It's called the Easy Waves Spray. So I'm just gonna go over it again. Okay guys, so I'm finally done with installing this wig. I tried my best to curl it as much as possible to like, you know, give it a bit of a bounce. Um, it was difficult considering the fact that I was using a hair straightener instead of a curling iron, which is obviously a, you know, pretty difficult thing to do. But I mean, we tried to pull it off as much as possible. I definitely feel like the curls were a lot better on this side than on this side. But you know what it is, we move. Either way, the most important thing is obviously the install and me giving you guys a review on the wig. It already still looks really good. I mean, the scalp, literally, everything looks so good. Um, I just added a bit of concealer to this area so that it um, looks like more of my scalp. And um, obviously then, you know, gave it a bit of character. So it looks really good in my opinion. Um, I don't know what you guys think. You guys let me know down below in the comment section what you guys think of this unit and what you guys think of the install and everything that I did. Um, but I absolutely love this hair. I think it looks really, really good. So now we're gonna get into the details of this wig. So this particular wig is a highlighted wig and I did get it from um, Bling Hair, which is a online hair company that basically um, sells their hair online, both on Instagram and they've got a website as well. So you can shop all their um, hair products on Instagram and on their website so I will leave that all the links down below in the description box and I'll also leave um, an insert on the screen of their Instagram page um, but yeah this hair is ultimately really really good quality um, it is a hundred percent human um, virgin hair and it is a hundred and eighty percent density so I mean I just love that the density is not too hectic I mean it is full but it's not like unbearably full it's still very very manageable still looks natural and you know still is very cute in my opinion um, and then the lace is obviously invisible lace but you guys can obviously see that this lace is literally giving what it needs to give it's 
it's non non-existent <laughs> okay it looks so good um so that is the lace and then the style of the hair um so the wig i did mention earlier that it came um as a 13 by 4 lace frontal and it does come in a teapot so um you can obviously part it in a tea the teapot is four inches long so yeah you can part it four inches all the way back so this particular wig does retail for $195 if I'm not mistaken I will leave an insert on the screen showing you guys what the price is but this is after it has been marked down by 30% so it is on sale currently at the moment on their website if by the time I upload this video it is still on sale then you can still catch the sale but originally I will show you guys on the screen it's about 200 and something um, dollars so yeah that's the price that you can get it for at the moment yes it is $195 and then obviously um, the details of this wig so it is pre-plugged um, it has um, a you know natural lace frontal 180% um, density um, and it comes in different lengths from between um, 14 inches all the way up to 32 inches long so you can get this wig in you know a longer inch um, mine I believe is 16 inches long but looks like it's actually 18 inches long so I could be wrong it might just be 18 inches long um, but when you do straighten it it does get longer so um, it is a very 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 nice wig I love the quality I love the color um, I love the highlight I love how you know easily you can wear it and how just like good looking it is I mean, look at this I think this is probably the best install I've done on my entire channel like this wig looks good okay like this is a wig this is this is giving me life do you understand me <laughs> so yeah as I showed you guys in the beginning this wig does come with a little bit of goodies so if you guys obviously um, purchase this particular wig it does come with you know the combs and the clips here um, the wig cap as well as you know pins and everything else that you find and then their shipping does take about two to seven um, business days so if you're shipping from um, whatever country you're in like myself I ship from South Africa and they're based in they're send, they send their wigs from China so obviously um, it would take about three to seven days to get to me um, all the way from China to South Africa so that is about you know roughly the delivery time the color of this wig is um in the description it is mentioned to be p4 stroke 27 so obviously i would know it as a color 27 obviously mixed with the color four um because of the highlights so i guess the highlights i guess is color 27 and then the actual wig itself everything else is color four which to me makes sense p4 and then obviously with the color of this wig if you would like to change the color of this wig you can so it can be dyed it can be bleached without changing the texture or the quality of the hair because obviously this is really good quality hair especially given the fact that they also changed the color of this wig and it still remained such a good quality wig so you can definitely trust that after you decide to change the color whether it be to change the color to be fully color 27 or to p4 then you can definitely achieve that without having to you know experience any hassles um with regards to downgrading in quality because it really doesn't do that this is a good quality wig like it's really nice like it's a nice wig and then i did mention to you guys earlier that it is pre-plugged i did show you guys that it is pre-plugged and obviously it's got baby hairs i didn't choose to do baby hairs because i wanted you guys to see the lace and to see how it melts down onto my skin i wanted you guys to see the invisibility of the lace and also just to see how i styled it because i did do like the you know the little hump up here just so that you know it gives a bit of character and also just to like show to give a bit of that natural look and to also um show the good quality of the wig how beautiful it just sits on me it's stunning chill like i don't know about you i love this wig i look good okay I, it's giving it's giving beyonce it's giving it's giving you it's giving everything that it needs to give it's definitely giving beyonce i i can like testify and say it's definitely giving beyonce it's giving miss giselle no okay and i like that i really really like that i mean she is my role model but um besides that <laughs> it looks really good like it looks so good it looks so natural i love the hairline i love the um part and everything just looks so natural about it which is something that 
I love I think obviously the curls if I wanted them to be a little bit more defined then I will get myself you know a curling iron and I think you should too if you don't have one um, I did manage to flatten the hair without a hot comb but um, I would still invest in a hot comb so just, like get yourself a hot comb and then obviously a curling iron to keep the body waveness of this wig so of course if you guys would like to make a purchase of this particular wig you can go ahead and do so I will leave all the details of this brand down below in the description box for you guys to go ahead and check them out and if you guys love this wig please give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below what you guys think and if you also decide to go and purchase this wig and maybe do a review of your own or maybe take photos please don't forget to tag me my Instagram is down below in the description box I will leave an insert as well on the screen of my Instagram please go and follow me on Instagram and um, yeah that is practically everything so now I'm just gonna give you guys some eye candy on the hair and showing you guys how it looks and everything and I hope you guys enjoyed this video again please don't forget to like subscribe if you've got this far if you have gotten this far you can comment a brown heart to cut to confirm that you've literally gotten this far I don't know how you would do it if you're watching it from the TV but please log on to this video if you've gotten this far and please comment a brown heart just to show me that you guys are actually reaching the end of this video and let me know what you guys think of this hair if you guys would purchase it if it's a yay or nay if it's a miss if it's a, a hit or miss and um yeah absolutely love you guys thank you so so much for tuning in and i hope to see you guys again next time on my next video But I'm seeing green, even with them four seats, they couldn't see the team. The K, I, N, G, the GOAT, plus me, the queen. I send shots, then I'm back, or I flee the scene. Ain't no scene.